Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. Hump day. Yeah, we got some rain last night. It was unexpected. I told my daughter earlier that it looked like it was going to try and rain. Um, but according to the weather channel, we're not supposed to get rain until Monday. Um, I heard that we were going to get snow in the Black Hills. That's here in South Dakota. Yeah, much needed rain. The leaves haven't really changed all that much. They are changing. But like a lot of places across the country, the lack of rain is just making them dry up and fall off. My son's been taking me disc golfing with him. And I did get some pictures of the trees out there um, where they like to uh, disc golf. Those of you that have asked about my daughter, yes, she is now, I hope, fully recovered from her bout with meningitis. She was off work for almost a month. And so many of you have helped support during that trying time. Yeah, she got her hospital bill. Luckily, she's got um, health insurance through her work, but um, it's going to probably take her about five years to pay off her deductible. Yeah, five years. One of the medications that they gave her during her stay there in the hospital was almost $500 for one bag. I think it was a uh, antiviral medication. Holy cow. Can you believe that? Yeah, these pharmaceuticals are just making a fortune. $500. But thank you to all the prayers. Thank you to God. Yeah, she is now recovered and back at work. I checked my mail yesterday. Thank you very much for all the letters and the donations. God bless you guys. Thank you. Letters will be written today and going out. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Yesterday on the American Meteor Society, there was five reports, five different reports, of fireballs, meteors being seen across the country. I don't see any videos or images posted. A little disappointing, but that's all right. There was reports from Oklahoma and Texas, Georgia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, more reports from Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. We also have Maryland, New York, Ontario, uh, I believe Canada, and Pennsylvania. On the 28th, there was four different reports, one from Europe. There was one reported in Poland. I don't know if that was on the 28th or not. Um, but also, we got from Alabama, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Mississippi, Tennessee, and then another report from Oregon and Washington. Another report from Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, uh, and West Virginia. There was 20 reports yesterday from Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. Boy, it's been busy on the East Coast. Have you been able to go out and watch for these meteors? I found a website that I'd like to share with you. It's called starwalk.space. They have different apps where you can download for sky ch on charts um, to view different satellites, even the time where you can watch uh, Starlink satellites maybe go over your area. It's a really cool website. You might want to check them out. Starwalk.space. This coming November, there's going to be five different meteor showers. Yeah, so hopefully you'll have clear skies, not like here where we had rain last night. The different meteor showers for November uh, between the 4th and the 5th is going to be the Southern Tards. Um, then on November 11th through the 12th would be the Northern Tarids. November 16th through the 17th would be the Leonid uh, Meteor Shower. Then on November 20th through the 21st would be the Alpha Monotsarids. And then November 27th through the 8th would be the November Orinus. And then if you're wondering about what planet might be near the moon in November, November 3rd would be Mercury. It's going to be a really bright 
almost full, full moon this month. So, yeah, it might make visibility for the different meteor showers and the different planets next to the moon uh, difficult to see. But, um, so we got Mercury on November 3rd. November 4th, Venus will be near the moon. November 11th, Saturn. Um, then on the 12th, Neptune will be near the moon. Then on the 15th, Uranus. The 17th would be Jupiter. And then November 20th, Mars. Now that's according to um, spacewalk.space. Okay. So the next meteor shower, I suppose this would be the date of the peak, would be the Southern Taurids. That is November 4th through the 5th. The peak of the Southern Taurids is supposedly going to be overnight on Monday, November 4th, into the early hours of the morning of Tuesday, November 5th. Now, the Southern Taurids are a long-lasting meteor shower that peaks, uh, has several peaks actually during its active time period. The shower is active for more than two months, but rarely produces more than five shower members per hour, even during the maximum activity. The torrids are supposed to be rich in fireballs and often are responsible for the increase of reports of fireballs to um, AMS. Now, the leaniness, or leaninids, yeah, give me a name to uh, mispronounce and slaughter. Yep, I'll do that just fine on my own. The peak activity is going to be from November 16th through the 17th, but it actually starts on November 3rd and lasts until December 2nd. When the Earth travels through the debris field left behind by Comet 55P slash Temple Turtle, the Leonids are uh, produced the meteor showers. It happens during a highly uh, elliptical orbit around the sun every 33 years, according to uh, different reports. The Leonid meteors are supposedly going to be the fastest meteors zipping through the sky at 44 miles or 71 kilometers per second. They also can result in impressive fireballs producing long, bright, and colorful meteor streaks. Supposedly there in the UK, the best time to view the Leonids is between midnight and dawn local time. So last night there was five reports of a fireball seen over Oklahoma and Tex Texas. One of the reports said that the color was light yellow, red, and white. It evidently had a terminal flash, streaked for about two seconds, then flashed with some color for about one second, and then disappeared. A report from Randall said it was a big ball of white and yellow light, um, not a small streak like uh, you typically see with a shooting star. At first, they thought it was a helicopter spotlight when they first looked up. That's when I saw the large ball of light with a tail going down to the east-southeast. I was getting in my truck to go to work. So it was probably, he said, there about 6 a.m. They didn't hear any sound. And it wasn't illuminated much around the ball because uh, evidently they've been having some extreme fires there. Probably made the uh, conditions for viewing smoky. Sending prayers. Yeah, there's been some bad fires down there. Yeah, maybe we should send some of the rain we got here last night to them. This other report, 11, came from Georgia, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. Interesting about the color. Bright, darker blue. Um, yeah. And then also a lighter color of blue. A report, I believe, from South Carolina came across me really low and bright and separated with an orangish color. This report from Virginia said it was green and light green. A report from Tennessee said it was um, in the direction of the Big Dipper. I only saw it for approximately one second. I was driving home with my radio on in my truck 
It was the first time I've ever seen a bright green one. Another report from Tennessee. First time I've seen something like that with my eyes. I thought it was something else, so I waited to see if I was if I was gone, heard a boom, or seen an explosion. Then I looked up and seen it was uh, supposedly to be a shooting star around Nashville. That was the first time. I wish I had a dash cam. Yeah, I do too. Another report from Tennessee uh, was gone almost immediately. Flashed into solid green. Now the color of the meteor depends on its chemical composition. Some common meteors colors are orange yellow, which would be sodium, yellow, iron, blue green, magnesium, violet, um, cat, cadmium, and red, nitrogen and oxygen. And it's caused by the atmosphere. Now, um, from Florida and Georgia last night, there was nine reports sent in. Jennings, Florida said it was blue and yellow. A report from Georgia said it was green. And what was interesting, they said that I've seen a lot of white ones recently in um, southern Georgia. This is the first, I guess, for a green one. That's kind of cool. Another report from Gainesville, Florida, said it was green and it had a train. So that would have made it even cooler. Another report from Florida. Ultimately, we are not sure what we saw. It was beautiful and like nothing else I've ever witnessed. I did some research and couldn't find any reports of anyone seeing anything near Florida. So I wanted to notify someone in hopes that we have we may have learned what we observed and perhaps um, could be documented yeah thank you for your reports most people don't send in reports of meteors or fireballs that they see to ams 16 reports here from alabama georgia indiana kentucky and tennessee charlotte tennessee said it was beautiful and very close the color was orange with light orange. A report from Tennessee said it was red and white. I think this, re yeah, Jackson, Tennessee. I wasn't even looking for this. It caught my eye because um, the pieces were so bright, appeared so close, even though almost overhead while we were driving. They also said the color was red and white. Another report from Tennessee said it was orange, light yellow, and white. And then the last report, there was five, which came from Maine, New York, Ontario, and Pennsylvania. Okay, so what do we got up here? It says, the direction I was facing was south-southeast, and it was coming down at a slight angle. Yeah, light blue and white. That would have been really cool. A report from Maine. It says more people should know about this effort. Yeah, about the putting up the different reports. They said it was white. The report from Pennsylvania said it was light yellow in color. And then the report from Pennsylvania said it kind of wiggled. That's odd. And the color was white. Yeah, the report there from the UK looks like Germany, um, France maybe, Switzerland. Yeah, still no reports or of images. Yeah, that's disappointing. All right, this one by Germany. Um, I had it translated. The color was light blue. And good thing I don't have to translate this one. It said it was um, green. So, yeah, send in your reports to AMS if you happen to um, see some fireballs. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share. Yeah, five showers this month. Yeah. Hopefully you have clear skies. Please stay safe. Report what you see. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.